Assalamualaikum and good day. Hi, how are you? I hope you are in a good health. I am Puan Salina binti Maskan from SK Panglima Adenan, Podiksen, Negeri Sembilan. With us today is Puan Fatimatul Zahra binti Othman from SK Putrajaya, Persin 181, as sign language interpreter. Today, I would like to teach reproduction and growth in animals. I can feel that you are very excited to start our lesson. So, let's start. Please be ready with your textbook. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to First, state how animal reproduce. Second, classify the animals according to the way they reproduce. Third, identify the examples of animals that lay many eggs and animals that lay a few eggs. Fourth, identify the examples of animals that give birth to many youngs and animals that give birth to less young. Fifth, identify the changes in the animal growth in their life cycle. Have you ever seen a chick and a young dolphin? Okay, let's watch this video. Let me explain. The chick exists from the egg produced by the hen. Then the hen carefully sits on the eggs until it hatches. The young dolphin was born by its mother after a few months in the mother's valley. This video showed animal's reproduction. We know animals are living things and carried out the life process such as breeding, moving, reproducing young. How do animals reproduce? Yes, exactly. There are two ways of animals reproduction, laying eggs and giving birth. Animals need to reproduce to ensure the survival of their species and avoid extinction. Do you know, there are many animals that lay eggs. Example of these animals are stock, frog, crocodile, and mosquito. Meanwhile, Examples of animals that give birth are cat, kangaroo, and dolphin. These animals need to lay eggs or give birth to ensure that their species continue to exist. Now, let's test our knowledge. Look at these animals. Spider, elephant, ant, lion, monkey, scorpion, horse, and snake. Please let me cla to classify the animals according to the way they reproduce, whether they lay eggs 
or give birth. Okay, let's start classifying these animals. Animals that lay eggs are spider, scorpion, ant, and snake. And animals that give birth are monkey, elephant, horse, and lion. Well done, you are great. Do you know that there are some animals that lay many eggs and there are some of them lay a few eggs? Mm. Can you think of some examples of animals that lay a few eggs? Examples of animals that lay a few eggs are birds, goose, and penguin. Do you know that penguin only lay one egg at one time? Let us look at the examples of animals that lay many eggs. The screen show some animals that lay many eggs, fish and and frog. Frog lay their eggs and cover their eggs with mucus so that their eggs are not eaten by other animals. Now, let us do a simple exercise. You are required to match the correct answer. Which of these animals lay many eggs and which of these animals lay a few eggs? Let's start. Birds lay a few eggs. Frog lay many eggs. Penguin lay a few eggs. And ant lay many eggs. Good job! Next, let us learn about animal that give birth. Animals also give birth to different numbers of anim of young. For example, the number of kittens are different if compared to baby elephant. Animals that give birth are classified into two. They are animals that give birth to many young and animals that give birth to a few young. Let us look at the examples of animals that give birth to a few young. Among of them are pangolin, dolphin, and elephant. Did you know how baby animals get their food? Yes, same as we humans, the baby animal will be fed by their mother. Next, let us look at some examples of animals that give birth to many young. Among of these animals are give birth to many young are rabbit, cat, and porcupine. For your information, there are some baby animals that look exactly like their mother and some do not. Baby animals that look like their parents can be seen from the shape, appearance, and body cover. 
Examples of animals that look like their parents are bear, hippopotamus, tiger, and grasshopper. The baby animals that do not look like their parents can be identified from its shape, appearance, and body cover, such as a butterfly. Before a butterfly turn into that beautiful butterfly, it once was a caterpillar. Same as frog from an X, it changed into a tadpole. However, when the baby animal grows, its shape and appearance will change just like its parents. Is it that interesting? Let's continue our lesson by understanding the life cycle of the animals. What is the life cycle of animals? The life cycle of animals is a growth stages that appear for any animal. The animal will undergo some changes, especially in the body size, shape, and weight in its life cycle. On the screen now is the life cycle of a frog. Let's look at it one by one. First, the life cycle of a frog start from eggs that were laid by a female frog and those eggs will hatch and turn into tadpoles. Later, those tadpoles will change into froglets. After some period of time, those froglets then turn into adult frog. This life cycle will continue to ensure the survival of its species. Before we end our lesson, let us recall what we have learned today. There are two ways for animals to reproduce which are laying eggs and giving birth. We have learned that there are animals which lay a few eggs and some lay many eggs. Animals that lay many eggs are butterfly, crocodile, fish, and frog. And animals that lay a few eggs are chicken, penguin, and goose. Next, examples of animals that give birth to many youngs are cat, rabbit, porcupine, and wolf. And examples of animals that give birth to a few young are elephant, panda, pangolin, and dolphin. Baby animals that look like their parents are cow, hippopotamus, tiger, and cat. And baby animals which are not similar to their parents are frog, mosquito, butterfly, and ladybird. We also learn about the animal's life cycle. Animal's life cycle is growth stages for any animal. These are the life cycle of a frog and a cow.
Therefore, in this chapter, we are able to state how animals reproduce, classify animals according to the way they reproduce, identify examples of animals that lay many eggs and lay a few eggs, identify with examples of animals that give birth to many young and less young, and identify the changes in the animal growth in their life cycle. Success in the small of some efforts, repeated day in and day out, I think that's all for today. I hope that you had fun and able to gain more knowledge about animals around us. Hope we can meet again. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.